All right, bow, bow. What's up, everybody? It's Sean Brandman, Sean, and I'm back. It's been a good minute since I've had Teacup on the channel. You know, she's been out doing her thing undercover, but she is back on the channel. Um, and as you know, she always brings really dope advice and tips to the artist community. So today, um, it's 2022 now, right? We, we've talked budgets before. Um, I've talked budgets. There's been a lot of uh, different conversations. Budgets is a popular topic for artists. But we haven't updated um, for 2022. It's a different economy out there. So I'm excited to be able to get, you know, um, your insight, Teacup, as somebody who's in the trenches and actually doing stuff and I'm working calls with artists on what you're seeing, your perspective on it. So again, appreciate you, uh, you hopping on it. But let's get into it. What, how much budget do I need? That's the question. $500, can you blow my song up? So how much? So the thing is, I really don't like answering that question because the budget can depend. Now, I always tell artists when I start with artists, I want to say list out your network first. So list out how many DJs, the different DJs that are rocking with, because as you know, in music, it's really about relationships. It's about relationships. It's about who you know. This person may know this X, Y and Z. So. A lot of things, um, artists, they can learn themselves. Like they can make their own flyers now, make their own like promo materials and things like that. Um, so I would say, I would rather say things to budget for rather than a price. Um, but first, before we go into that, again, if you list out your resources, okay, how many influencers that you have relationships with? I mean, personal relationships, whereas if you drop a song, they'll repost it just off the love. So influencers, DJs, how many DJs are actually looking for your music? You know, how many people have been waiting to drop? Um, okay, relationships with, with, I would say, interviewers or radio personalities. So what relationships do you have there? Um, I have like a graph I can send to you as well of like the different breakdowns of people on board. But I would say DJs, so DJs and hosts. So club promoters, so strippers, of course, influencers, <laughs> platforms, engineers, fans. Also be aware of how many fans, how many people buy into you and things like that. Um, producers, other artists, graphic designers, A&Rs, managers, labels, people that do artist development, curators, venues, and marketers like Brian Man Sean. <laughs> so... I would say make a list and actually list out all the people that you have direct relationships with before going into budgeting. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you always balance out your budget based on what's like working for you. So it's pretty, it's pretty important to do that before you get into a budget. Um, and then, doo -doo 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 -doo. okay. So let's start off with production, right? So production is the priority that you should budget for because why is without, that? you said what now uh, i just said why is that why you say production because it's all about music it's all about what we like it's all about what we like sonically when we hear it played out loud so mixing and mastering quality mixing and mastering is important so the studios that i i would say one studio i would recommend is patchwork of course um patchwork has like the top quality equipment um prices can start from about 50 plus so people may think it's just very expensive and they're hard to reach but you can literally call their number on their website and you could be able to get a budget for that so knowing about like leasing the beat and being aware of like sale limits so that's very important because a lot of producers you know they'll say oh like the beat is this amount like some producers may want a flat free up front or some producers may say, hey, well, you can pay this amount after a certain amount of downloads. So quality is important. Okay. And then quality production also goes into content. So content is very important. So you have to decide whether you're the type of artist that you're using your personality a lot, which of course that may be the most cost efficient, right? Because if people like you as a person and you do like funny things, whatever you use your use your music in the background that helps as well um photo shoots vlog contents performance footage live videos so this also factors into your resources so okay even if you may not have can afford a videographer to follow you all around do you have 
a little cousin? Do you have a friend that has an iPhone? Because you can use your iPhone these days just to get vlog content or like live performance content, right? Okay, and then you have to set aside budgets for those videos. So how often do you right, record right. videos? So, so all of this that you're going to do so far is like just straight up, what's in my resource pool? Like yep. that's the first thing that people need to think about. But okay, I, I know that you probably got some more listed, but I, I want to get your opinion because I, I like where you're going with it. Again, people always say, yeah, what's my budget? And, and then you can just give them an answer. But your resources can cut your budget in half that you might need to put out financially. So what, um, give me your perspective, though, because obviously you came to this conclusion from dealing with artists. Like, why are you so keen on just starting here and not before you even got to anything else? Okay, starting here because really identifying first what you need and who may have what you need, who directly around you may have what you need. And I think people kind of overlook that and how content specifically is becoming in demand. You know, platforms are saying post two to three times a day, things like that. And they say as an artist for Instagram, they say post at least 10 times a day on your story. Well, if you have certain resources, if you have certain um people that can do certain things for one it's more accessible and if you have people that genuinely believe in what you have going on and they genuinely support it you know they're more likely to offer some of their resources which can cut things in half or you know you can may work out something like hey you know if you do this for a while then this is how this works or if it comes to content let's say if you do want somebody to come out with you three times a month and vlog you maybe setting up that retainer fee or a certain amount that can work for you so to your point of why i say resources because there are some people that there's a lot more creatives out now and there's the exec community is getting really big now i want to say like more people are understanding okay i may not be the artist or the entertainer but i can help with an artist or i can help with someone that i believe in so there's a lot of people looking for somewhere to start in music right or they're looking for somewhere to start they may pick up a camera or pick up a video and say hey this is i want to start with this i really like your music let me start with you and there may have been people that have already said something to you know an artist about it like if they meet you somewhere they may have already said it you know you can just tap back in and keep building that rapport and continuing to you know support what they have going on um, so other forms of content, um, as aforementioned, so flyers, merch, press kits, um, these are things that artists have to heavily invest in. I would say, of course, press kit first, once you get numbers. Now there's two types of press kits. So there's a bio, which is like smaller, it's usually done per single or per release, but then there's an electronic press kit or EPK, which is done collecting all of your numbers and everything that you've pretty much done overall in your career, which is pretty much like an electronic resume. So right. it makes you sound good and all fancy and all that stuff. <laughs> and then merch is important because merch is what ties people to, for one, is direct income. And it ties people to support what you have going on. And you can see in real time how many people are invested into your artist community. So, and then let's see here. So marketing. So marketing is very important. The way you, I would say, again, just having those relationships and the way you present yourself to people that can determine whether oh somebody just believes what you're saying they may want to work with you or that can determine okay well they may prefer to be budget based mm. yeah yep and then okay. doing things like ads so of course we've got youtube ads we've got instagram ads and now we've got tiktok ads so budgeting and ads once you look at your target audience on your platforms and look at what it's targeting budgeting for ads help as well got you got you so i mean you have all this stuff in a checklist see that you can provide for people i do so gave y'all a free consultation <laughs> <laughs> so i do have all of these things that i do typically break down to artists i usually go based off of their budget i let them set the budget because of course if you want to do $500 can possibly work, right? So that can possibly work on a smaller scale. So let's say if for marketing, for example, right? If you're, if you only have $500, maybe you need to reach out to the smaller blogs and 
target the smaller blogs. Now, Nardo Wicks, he said he blew up off of off of support from small blogs. So me, Spooda TV, I'm a smaller platform. So a smaller platform has probably like under 10K followers, things like that, but they're well-respected, you know, in the community and people do check yep. what they have going on. So there's a lot of smaller blogs that may charge between $10 to $100 per post. So let's say if you found, because small blogs are more prevalent now that are posting music and that are posting funny skits. And like I said, it doesn't even have to just be music. It can be funny skits. It can be things that are drawing different yep. attention. Um, ATL Hood Historian, if anybody's in Atlanta, he's a good one because he posts artists for like $50, like on his story. And he gets so much traffic. He gets like Waka Flocka and all the different celebrities coming to, coming to their page. So if you got maybe like, if you only have $500, you can at least pay 10 blogs to post your single. So yeah, that could be, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. that could be somewhere to start. Do so you have like the bigger platforms, like you have Say Cheese, you have like Off the Porch and things like that. So those may be bigger. That's where the budgets get bigger, probably in like the thousands and, you know, things like that to post. So that all varies. Um, also, another form of marketing that is becoming popular now are social media influencers. So there's a lot of people that start new dances, new challenges. There's people that there's people that people like their likeliness for what they do. So let's say if there's a girl on social media that talks about holistic health and she's, you know, pretty popping online, she has like products that she sell or she has like affirmations that she posts daily, but you've got a song that ties into that, right? So influencers, you definitely have to know, like you have to understand their niche. And of course, come up with something that works for both their platform and works with your single and your song as well so that was my thing muted but uh no that's that's perfect so i mean with all that being said how how can people get at you so because you're giving out a lot of different games a lot of different options but i think it's all about talking to somebody who understands these options to help people choose what's best for their budget so what's the best way to get in contact with you? Okay. So you can contact me on my Instagram page. I have a phone number, 770-765-5422, that you can text directly. Um, you can also email me on Instagram, or you can DM me as well. So, so okay. So, y'all, T is giving out so much game here, uh, just so many options, because I think one thing the artists don't do enough Right, invest in city or resources. And like, I can't stress enough how, like that's true game just from the standpoint it's free. Like that's not saying, oh, what's your resources? Now you gotta pay me. That's, what's your resources? Those are people all, all around you, relationships you already have established. And artists who last in this game, they do a good job at um, developing resources, right? And some resources are free because they develop over time in terms of your friends. Um, and some of them start off business and become resources because they like the way you do your business. They believe in you. You're respectful. You know what I mean? So now they're willing to do extra stuff for you. Sometimes they'll do it for free or they'll just do more than they would for any other client. All right. All those things uh, matter. So I think by her starting there just lets you know how much she's going to, how helpful she is when it comes to the game she gives out. So y'all definitely hit T up. Um, I appreciate you as always hopping on the platform. It's always good to have your insight. And if there's any last thing you want to leave people with, what would that be? Okay. Last thing I will leave people with, well, first, thank you for having me come on the platform. Um, the thing I can leave you with, because um, performances and PR, that was pretty much going to be the next kind of categories that I get into. But I also offer those as a service for my platform. So I do have an event series, as Brandman Sean mentioned. So I'm bringing it back. The show and Cypher is coming back. So if you are looking to perform, which performances is something you should put in your budget, you can definitely hit me up. And then also PR. So press, um, having interviews, having blog write-ups, things like that. Definitely those you can get up for me as well. So, yep, you can just text me, 770-765-5422. Thank you so much. She got the number out there. Y'all don't y'all don't blow it up too bad, but, but no, go and get to see some business. 
um, and get your shit going, man. So good to see you as always, T, and hit me up if you need anything to report. All right. Yep. Thank you. Uh, peace.